Back. You might decorate your rooftop and some bushes for the festive month of December, but as Suzanne Lawler shows you, one man spends two weeks setting up all his decorations, and the finished product is one you don't want to miss. This is what it looks like at 3420 Stinsonville Road. Frank and Lori Seymour live here. Frank has been doing this for 20 years. It started when his kids were small. But now it's kind of become an obsession. The guy's in his 60s, and we asked him, hey, how many lights do you have out here? He said, I don't know. I just keep putting things up. Take a deep breath. <laughs> That's what Lori Seymour does every time her husband, Frank Seymour, brings home more decorations. That tree over there has got red lights this year because I can get them for two bucks. Well, when you put on this kind of a display, it helps to be thrifty. After all, the civil engineer has decked the halls up the side of the house, the telephone pole, and even scored some points on the basketball goal. But he figures it's still not perfect. I'm going to get a Bethlehem star. I'm going to put it right up there next to that big wreath because I've got some voids I just need to fill. Really? Voids to fill? Well, with that kind of a statement, you may wonder why a man who unleashes 50 extension cords at the end of every November. So I had to run a cord all the way underneath the, the basement. And is consumed by his Christmas display, well, does all of this. So this is his way of showing love to his family and the neighborhood. So we come every night to see him. So we, we see what he's updating and is he all done now? I think so. And she knows me by... Mr. Frank, whose lights are those? Mr. Frank's. And even Lori, who really doesn't mind the lights, but worries about her husband. Part of me doesn't want him up on the roof. He's, you know, 63. Urged her special elf to get going a little early this year. You know, it's 2020. This year stunk. Um, I think we need it. Well, Frank is as reliable as Santa delivering on Christmas. So pandemic or not, you can bet the lights will always be shining here every December. Suzanne Lawler, 13 WMAZ News. Frank and Lori, I like that. That has a nice ring. Frank says the lights will stay up through the New Year's weekend.